hi guys welcome back to my channel today i have a very very exciting video that i'm super excited to film today we are going to be doing a trying viral makeup products that is everywhere on social media so many people talk about them they rave about them and there is just so much buzz all these products that i'm going to be showing you guys today are in my sephora spring sales haul that is already up so definitely check that video down below i'll have it linked for you guys to check it out also a bunch of other products that i mentioned in that video that aren't going to be in this video because they're random items that are not makeup but i'm so excited i definitely picked up so many good items that are so raved about whether it be on instagram or tiktok and i want to see how they perform how they look on me how they swatch so as you guys can tell i already have my eye makeup pretty much done i have my lashes on and i already did my eyebrows so the majority of this video is going to be face products which is honestly my favorite part when i do my makeup i definitely want to see if these products products live up to the hype subscribe to my channel if you haven't already if you guys want to see more videos like this i post videos every single week so without further ado let's get into the video so i'm gonna put my little bangs back we have a fresh face i already have done my skincare and spf moisturizer all that good stuff so let's see what first product we are going to put on my mirror and makeup little area is also right here so if i'm looking in this direction that is why but the first product we are going to be testing out is the tatcha silk canvas primer this one is in the solid form and it's also the little mini one because i honestly don't put too much primer on my face so a little goes a long way this product i have used before in the past i want to say a year and a half ago Ago, two years ago and I just stopped using it so I definitely wanted to rebuy it again because I saw someone post it on Instagram again raving about it and I was like that product was so good so I definitely wanted to rebuy it again this is what it looks like it's in a solid form as you guys can see it's super satisfying that it looks completely brand new and untouched but this was all the rave back then and I feel like it's still pretty popular and when I remember using it it really minimized my pores and really just blurred all my little areas out in the t-zone so let's see if it does that this time a little on the forehead where the t-zone is that's mainly where i put on primer some on the chin definitely has a nice light scent to it it doesn't bother me it's like a nice little spa scent very very light nothing crazy but definitely get in all the crevices where we have those pores and definitely help blur and smooth them out we'll see how this pairs with the foundation you can definitely notice right here across my nose and on my nose it's definitely a lot more blurred out and it definitely filled in my pores which is super super good so yeah i'm remembering how much i did love that product and why people talk about it definitely recommend this one and let me know down below what you guys think about the liquid version compared to the solid version because i like the solid version even though i don't really like when i have to like keep touching my hands with it i do prefer a pump but I just remember really liking the solid version and so far it is looking really good. So I'm super happy about that. Next, let's move on to the star of the show, which is the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. I'm so excited for this product. You guys know I picked up all these products during the sales event that just happened. So getting 20% off this product was definitely the way to go. This is a pricey foundation. Everyone always talks about it, says how glowy it is, says how natural it is, but also covers up just the right amount. So there's definitely a nice price tag to this. So I've always wanted to get my hands on it. So glad I finally did. I got mine in the shade four. I did get color matched at Sephora. So I think it'll be a pretty, pretty good color match. So I'm super excited. This is what the foundation looks like. Really nice frosted glass. I'm just going to shake it up a little as I do with most of my foundations. One of my favorite things is a completely unused brand new beauty blender that I just picked up. So super excited. So let's give this a try. Obviously we have a pump. I'm going to put a pump on the back of my hand. Okay, I did one full pump. And we'll see how many pumps we need to get the type of coverage I want. So let's go in with the Beauty Blender. So that is about one layer of foundation on my face. First impression, which I already kind of knew this, it's definitely a sheer to light coverage 
can build up to median type of coverage of foundation which is completely fine i definitely like that i like building up i don't like a foundation that's just like super full coverage right away with just like a couple stamps of foundation so definitely like how i can build up i already have a pretty nice base it looks pretty flawless and it looks really good with the tatcha silk canvas primer and I definitely am probably going to use another full pump just to get a couple of my redness away and a couple of old dark spots that I have from old pimples away. But so far, it's looking really good. Just a slight amount of dew, nothing crazy, which I really, really like. I don't like something that's too, too dewy or too, too matte. It's like the perfect medium. So let's give it one more pump and see what it looks like. Okay, this is what two pumps of foundation looks like with the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk. I think it looks super, super good, super, super flawless. Let me know what you guys think down below. But it's just like a nice, even layer, and it just doesn't look like anything cakey. It lays on really, really well. There's no weird smell to it. The one I'm currently using is the NARS Light Reflecting Foundation. That one smells like a little bit like weird to me. I don't know why every time I use it. This one has no smell, which is really good. Um, yeah, it's definitely, like I said, light to sheer to medium that you can build up to. I would say right now I'm kind of like at a medium coverage that's still a little bit sheer. You can still see a little bit of my imperfection speaking through, which I completely don't mind. I actually kind of like. I don't like it to be super, super cakey, super, super just like a thick, thing of foundation you know i will keep you guys updated probably on my instagram about how this foundation is working out for me but so far so good i want to give it like an 8.5 9 out of 10 i don't think i've ever had like a perfect 9 foundation but maybe the more i use this will become a 10 out of 10 i definitely want to love it a lot because it is so expensive but i definitely am right now it's really really nice a little bit luminous and yeah i think it looks pretty good okay for our next steps before i move on to concealer i like to do my liquid products because after i do concealer i like to set that right away so that would kind of budge my cream products so let's move on to liquid blush and liquid bronzer my two favorite steps during my makeup routine so if you guys saw my spring haul then you guys would have saw that i picked up this say do blush liquid cheek flush and i got mine in the shade rosy and then the second product we will be testing today is the Rare Beauty Bronzer. And this I already have and own and I love it. But I do want to put it on for you guys so you guys can see what it looks like. But if you guys know, Rare Beauty is all the craze right now, all the buzz. Everyone talks about her liquid blushes, her lip tints, her lip oils. They're so popular right now. It's literally all I see on my Instagram. And I also know that her bronzers are super good. And I do have this and I've had, had this in my collection for a while. So of course I thought I had to include this in my video of trying viral products. And along with the same one too, I feel like this is a very nice and upcoming brand in Sephora that I see a lot of people talking about. So let's try on these two products and see what they look like. So I'm gonna go in with bronzer first, a little cream bronzer moment. I have mine in the shade power boost so i don't go anything crazy with my cream bronzer i just do a little bit a little bit on my forehead a little bit down the nose and just a little right here this stuff is super super pigmented it blends out so well so a little goes a long way i love how it's in a stick form super creamy super blendable and you find your right shade it is just 10 out of 10 highly recommend this product so i'm going to be blending it out with my hourglass brush it is such the perfect brush to blend out cream products so we are just going to blend right in So that was the bronzer blended in. It just brought a little bit of warmth back to my face. Next, let's try on this brand new product to me, which is the Say Do Blush in the shade Rosy. I'm sure this is gonna be pretty pigmented, so I'm just gonna go in with a little and see how that works out. I'm really just gonna do one because I think it's gonna be pretty pigmented and we'll see how it looks. As you guys can see, it was pretty pigmented. I was right. I just needed one little dot. Warmth of my finger really helped blend it out. When in doubt, just use your finger. And I just blended it up my cheek. I also brought it a little bit across my nose just for that little like sunburnt effect. And I love the color. It really is so pretty. It's warm. It's a little rosy, hence the name. I think it is so pretty. Such a pretty summer shade. I think it's picking up on camera pretty well. Just giving me like a light 
flush of blush i think it is so so pretty i love the color it has like a little bit of like an undertone of like some corally color and i think it is stunning it looks really good it blended out super well next product we have is the kosas concealer of course everyone and anyone talks about this i've seen celebrities talk about this product and i myself have already used this product before i have the kosas concealer but i had to pick up a new one and i also picked up a new one in a new shade this one is three w which is light with subtle golden undertones this one is my brand new one and then i also have my older one in here in my makeup compartment i had to pick up a restock of course and that shade is pretty good but i kind of wanted to go like one or two shades lighter just to give a more brightening effect under my eyes so i think this one will be really good it's just such a nice lightweight hydrating concealer it blends out super well underneath the eyes does increase at least for me And this is what the concealer looks like after being completely blended out as you guys can see it is just so seamless so pretty so good it blends out like a dream and it just provides the most perfect medium to full coverage even and it just looks so so good i definitely see the hype about this product which is why people always talk about it and i'm still rebuying it myself so 10 out of 10 this concealer highly recommend now i'm gonna go in and set my concealer and a little bit of my t-zone area with my laura mercier setting powder i just find myself going back to this product all the time oh these two the laura mercier and the coke sauce concealer is like my dream team for underneath my eyes i just get a little bit of the remaining powder and kind of just powder around my nose and chin that one seems to kind of go away because obviously we eat food and we dab our face and mouth area with napkins so yeah this is what the base is looking like so far i think it looks pretty good really flawless um loving the foundation loving how everything is melting and coming together we are coming near the end of this video i just have to set my cream bronzer and cream blush with two products this is the hourglass ambient lighting bronzer and i have mine in the shade nude bronze light had this for a while now and it is amazing it has such beautiful swirls as you guys can see this product i know was all the rage back then i don't think too many people talk about it these days but it is still my favorite it adds the most perfect bronze to your face and it's natural it's a little bit glowy and it just gives the most perfect complexion because of those swirls in it i absolutely love it and i'm just adding the warmth back to my face because sometimes we do lose the cream products a little bit because of the concealer and because of the powder so we are just going in So just bronzed up my face with that hourglass bronzer now we're gonna move on to my favorite blush this is the fancy blush and this is their kilowatt highlighter in ginger binge and moscow mule this product is so so popular i remember just a couple months ago it was super hard for me to get my hands on because madison beer talked about this product in her like vogue get ready with me video and after that these highlighters and specifically this blush color was completely sold out i remember i tried finding it online it was sold out and then my local sephora had the one left so i picked it up and it is so so pretty this is what it looks like it is so stunning it has two colors they're both pretty similar one's a little darker and the other one is a little lighter with a little bit of more sparkles in it but i honestly just mix both of them around and just tap the excess off and put the rest on my cheek it is so so pretty um i know her kilowatt highlighters were really popular like a couple years ago when fenty beauty first came out but they just recently had a resurgence again especially when madison beard talked about this ginger binge and moscow mule one i had to pick up my hands on it i am a sucker for any type of blush that's like glowy and rosy and i'm absolutely obsessed with this and topping off my cream blush from below the say one you guys can see she has gotten some love over the past couple of months but yeah we're just gonna top it off a little bit Okay, that is what the face is looking like what it came out to i think it looks so pretty i think the blush might be coming off a little bit harsh on camera but i promise in real life it's not it's like the most perfect amount and i honestly love rosy blushy cheeks it's just like my favorite thing especially now that spring and summer is arriving i think i am loving all of these products some of them i already had and that i love and some of these brand new ones to me i'm gonna keep testing them out see how i like it but so far so good we are gonna end 
off this video with some lip liner and this brand new gloss that I just got that everyone talks about. But first, we're gonna put a little bit of lip liner on. This is the Sephora Collection Rouge Gel Lip Liner in 01 The Nudist. This is my favorite lip liner at the moment. I've talked about this before on my channel. Um, it is just the most perfect nudie little color. It's honestly like a my lips but better for my lips and it's so creamy. I highly recommend checking out the Sephora collection Rouge Gel Lip Liners and finding a color that you love because these are so creamy, so affordable, and I love it. Okay, so we just put a little bit of that lip liner on just to have a little bit of a base before we put on the gloss. So the last product that I'm gonna be showing you guys and reviewing is the Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm Heat. And this one is a universal lip luminizer plus plumper, which is super cool. I have mine in the shade Fenty Glow Heat 03. I have heard viral things about her gloss balm heat and I think she has like a gloss balm cream. She has a couple different versions. I have her normal gloss that doesn't have any plumper, any like heat or anything like that. Just like her normal line that she came out with first. I have one of her glosses. I've heard so many good things about her heat line. Um, this one I believe is like a little bit more opaque than her normal glosses but it's still like kind of sheer and shiny and it has the lip plumper. And I know she also has the cream versions I believe that are completely opaque and give you a ton of color but i was interested in the gloss bomb heat and i saw the shade in person and it looked super super pretty so i'm super excited to try her heat line and see what all that is about so let's give this a try wow so that is what the gloss looks like super super pretty i love the color so much it's like a brown rosy nude color and i definitely feel the plumping effect right now it's like a little bit minty and I love it so much. I definitely see why these are super popular because the gloss balm heats are just a slightly bit more opaque and give you a better pigment than her normal like glosses. I definitely feel it tingling now a lot and it's just so pretty. I love this color so much and she had so many other colors too to choose from and I can see why people talk about it. So yeah, that is the end of this video. This is what the makeup turned out to be. So far, so happy with the foundation, the base, the blush, all of that stuff. I am so excited to continue to use these products and see what they look like, how they interact with my skin and all of that stuff. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and getting some feedback from it. And hopefully you guys pick up some stuff from this video as well. I have all the items that I talked about and put on linked down below for you guys. Definitely check out my spring sales haul that I just posted on my channel. Subscribe if you haven't already. I post videos every single week and I would love for you guys to stick around. Follow me on Instagram. All my stuff is always down below and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye! Bye.